Hi guys, it's Lisa again. I'm coming to you with another tutorial. I've had some questions about the explosion envelope. Um, that's kind of what I'm calling it. It reminds me of an explosion box, but it's an uh, envelope in the back of my minis. So um, I've had some questions on how I make that. And I'm going to show that to you guys today. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, this is it. Now this is in, of course, generic white cardstock and has no closure or anything on it, but opens this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, and this way. So, the camera's pretty close, so you can't really see it all at once, but you guys get the idea. So this is what we're gonna make today. The first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna need two sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock. Which, here, I have. I'm going to back us up a little bit. Hopefully that will help. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, so your first sheet of 12 by 12 cardstock, you're going to need to score. I'll grab my handy-dandy Martha Stewart scoreboard here. My outside cover, I'm going to use red. Um to put in my Valentine's Mini. Alright. So this 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock, you're going to need to score three and a half inches in on both sides. So. Now, of course, you could count over. <laughs> And do the math. Oops. I just like to flip my eye on. It's, a little, it's easier for me. Turn your paper 90 degrees. And you're going to score 4 inches in on one side. And 3.5 inches on the other. So... I'm just going to turn it around again. If this is confusing to you guys, me turning the paper, um, let me know, and I'll do it another way. So, it's hard to see, but basically what you guys have is a fold line here, a fold line here, oops, I need to take the tag off my paper still. One here, and one here. Okay. So we're gonna, let's, well, okay, let's do this next step. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to, oh, I misplaced them. <laughs> I guess this is the disadvantage of I've been misplaced from my scrap room for now. Uh, the kids are downstairs and they're loud and I thought I'd just come up here and film this real fast and obviously you see the problem. So I'm just going to use my, my paper cutter I guess. What you're going to do is the four corner boxes because you basically scored the sheet of paper, the sheet of paper into, into um, nine sections. So it's three by three. So these four corner boxes we are just going to cut out. You can use scissors. Um, frankly, I <laughs> I use scissors more often on this. I think it's a little bit easier. It's faster for me. It's a little bit easier to see what you're doing. So, I'll show you guys as I move along. I've cut here. And I've cut here. So we're going to turn it. Oops. I'm a knucklehead. Okay. Okay. 
you guys see what I have here. So what I have is my outside envelope. Well, I guess I'm going to peel that off when <laughs> we're not so cold. Yeah. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make my crease lines. Try and do this fast. You guys all know how to use a bone folder, I'm sure. Set that side, that piece aside. Moving on to your next piece of 12 by 12. And this actually doesn't need to be 12 by 12. The piece can be 10 by 7. So if you want to cut your piece down or you have a scrap that you want to use for the inside, the dimensions actually only have to be 10 by 7. So I'm going to actually grab my cutter again. Let me go ahead and put this down. This cutter, <laughs> I absolutely hate. <laughs> so, if anybody's going to buy one, don't buy the Carl Personal Paper Trimmer. Um, I've had it for a long time. Don't know why I don't buy a new one. I just, I, I just hate it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing that I can really say. Um, reasons why I hate it. Well, for one, um, <laughs> you cannot see the um, lines on it to tell your measurements. So that kind of sucks. <laughs> Stinks. Sorry about the language. Um, it makes it tough. You know, it's nice to be able to just measure and cut, and with this, you really can't because it's all white, and the numbers are white, and you can't see what you're cutting. Okay. So, here we go, guys. Piece of cardstock. Let's see, 10 by 7. So, what we're going to do is we're going to score two and a half inches in on both sides. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn it one more time. Just this way. And we're going to score it four and a half inches in. So what you get is a piece with three larger boxes across the top and three smaller boxes across the bottom. And what you're going to do again and fold it just so you guys see. Makes it a little easier to see. All right, what we're going to do again is remove these two squares. And again, boy, I wish I could find those scissors. But since I can't, <laughs> I'm going to give it a quick little trim with my paper trimmer. Stop that cut on the bottom. So let me fix that. All right. So we have this piece. Now, the next thing that you want to do is if you're going to do any inking or um, if you want to cut photo mats or um, you know if you were going to use pattern paper and wanted to put solid mats in there whatever you wanted to do now would be the time to do it 
next thing that I also do is I round the corners. Rounding the corners, um, I think just gives it a little bit more of a finished look. If you wanted to do more, if you're making more of a modern book or something that needed uh, hard edges, leave them square. That's up to you. And do the same thing with this one. Don't worry guys, I'm going to remove the price tag later on. Okay, so we rounded the corners on both of our pieces. I'm just going to move the scoreboard. And oh, I'm going to crease these really good. So we have these two pieces, this one here that we did earlier, and this one here that we just did. Very simple guys, this piece just gets glued right in the center of this piece. Could not be easier. That's it. That's all the harder it is. It's so very simple. Whatever adhesive you use is entirely up to you. Um, I think I'll go ahead and use my quick dry. Uh, I love this Scotch quick dry adhesive. Love, love, love it. Can't say enough good things about it. Um, it dries fast. It holds well. I use it on a lot of different stuff. I have an ATG too. Um, you could use your ATG on here. It's up to you. I think let's put it this way. Okay, so I'm going to line it up real good. And put it in there. Make sure all your folds are right. And that's it, guys. That is going to be my explosion envelope in the center of my, um, my Valentine's Day mini. So, you guys want to see? Here we go. Fold these in. This one up. In. In. Now you can see you guys might need to work a little bit. And up. Down and with the closure. And that's it. I've used a magnet on some of mine, I've used a button, and I've used those little um, round discs that you, you know, wrap a string around, but that's what they're made for. So I hope that, um, hope that answers everybody's questions and that's what you needed to know. Sorry this video went so long guys, uh, and I will be starting a blog and all this information is going to be on there. So thanks for watching.